project lady. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you're excited about this project. This is actually for a client. We're going to be redoing this antique dining room furniture. So come along with us. This is a close up look of this piece. You can tell that it's very old. Um, it's got some damage to it. I ended up replacing this back piece because it was just disintegrating and falling apart. But the biggest problem with this furniture is just the water damage and marks on the surfaces. It also sat for a while and wasn't being used, so it was just dusty and dirty and just needed some love. I did was to sand this piece and honestly that's a lot of what I did. I sanded this piece multiple times both using the sander you see here and by hand with some sandpaper and little sponge flexible sander so that I could get into all the nooks and crannies but I would sand it, clean it, sand it, clean it, rinse and repeat multiple times but it ended up turning out really well and the surface was really smooth and took the stain really well. While sanding this piece and really any piece of furniture, you have to make sure not to sand down any of the natural ledges or curves. You just want to sand it enough to get the shine or the coating knocked off of it. And then here you can see I had to run to the store and get me a rolling cart so that I didn't have to crawl around on the ground so much and I just put it together real quick and then got busy sanding some more. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Crashing down, but we 
get up and start from the ground. And I, I really want to know, really want to know if I let me figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my high. my mind I will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down even if the sky is falling down yeah. now that the sanding is done which honestly took weeks because we had to do little bits every day you know little bit at a time until we got it all done Even if the sky is falling down The next thing I did, which is probably one of the most important, is I cleaned the pieces really well. I had to make sure that there was no dust or dirt. They sat outside in our garage while we were sanding, so it had cat hair and dust and stuff on it. So I took a lot of time to clean them and make sure that they were really, really good and clean. So I vacuumed them, got any kind of dust and stuff off, and then I used my vinegar and water solution to spray them down, wipe them down really good to get any kind of leftover oils from my, our hands or anything like that off of the surface and then I let it dry for a couple of hours to make sure that they were really good and dry so that the stain would go on really evenly. Now it is finally time to stain and I used several methods of putting the stain on, wiping it off and I finally ended up settling on this little staining pad, some foam brushes and then wiping it off with microfiber cloths and then when the microfiber cloths would get saturated with the stain I would use those rags to kind of go in and touch up any places that need a little bit more stain.
earlier that I had to replace the back piece, that back panel, and that's what this is. So we measured and cut a piece of this quarter inch plywood and then I sanded it and then stained it. And then you'll see here in a minute that we put it on with some little bitty nails and a hammer. And we had to just be really careful not to get too close to the edge so it wouldn't crack, but it went on really, really easily. When you're watching this you're probably thinking how dark this stain looks and it actually looks like paint but you'll see here in just a minute um, what I did was I put this first coat on and then I let it soak in or let it mostly dry and then I would go in with the second coat of stain and then a dry cloth and it would pull off a lot of that stain and I ended up doing this three times so three total coats of stain and then to get the desired look and what we were doing is we were trying to match the client's kitchen cabinets that they got recently done during a remodel so that's the method that we came up with to match their cabinets the best the chest done then it was time to do the table and honestly the table was probably my favorite part it just 
was such a dramatic transformation from the before to the after and the way that these claw feet look on this table afterwards honestly just was amazing. Once I had all the staining done, I went back over it with a wet cloth and made sure all of the dust and dirt was cleaned off. Then Randy blew off all of the dust and dirt, any kind of residue so it wouldn't get in the clear coat. And we used our Wagner paint sprayer to put the top coat on. Here is the Bare Poly semi-gloss that we used. And it ended up taking two coats of the clear coat to get the finish that we wanted. Then we let it dry for about 48 hours and delivered it to our client. And here are the amazing before and afters. I'm so proud of this amazing project. It ended up so beautiful and our clients were extremely happy. I'm glad that we could help restore this family heirloom for them.
Thank you so much for being here and thank you for watching our video. If you wouldn't mind, please hit that like button and if you're not already, please subscribe. It really helps our channel out. Don't forget to go find us on all of our social media and stay tuned for the next project.